Hello everyone and welcome to the Tuesday video. So, yep, we're doing a thrift with me at the bins. I asked you guys in What's Old Saturday what you think that you'd want to see this week from me and basically everybody kind of wanted me to just do what I feel like Ryan and I have been doing lately. So I am going to be doing a solo thrift with me at the bins. That is exactly where I'm headed right now. I actually have to stop at a post office first. Normally I would go to the gym on Monday, which is the day that I'm filming this and going to the bins, but I am running quite late today compared to usual. I had to stay home for an appointment this morning. So I'm just not doing the gym today, which <laughs> makes me not feel great. But at the same time, a lot of the like, like New Year's resolution people are there. So it has been busy. So I'm not mad about missing out on that, but I'll probably just go like tomorrow or something. Okay, anyways, this is not like a, this isn't a workout channel. And also I don't know anything actually about working out. I just have like a routine. We're going to the bins, that's a workout. And we are hoping for, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. Once again, I'd be happy with some bread and butter type stuff, but I also would love to find some luxury bougie things. Obviously, I feel like this is a good season for athletic wear since everybody has their New Year's resolutions and people start to work out a lot. And also just people start to work out indoors more anyways, because it's so cold. So even if it's not a New Year's resolution, I think, Athletic wear is a good thing to pick up. Obviously, like sweatshirts, sweaters, coats, that type of stuff I'm still kind of looking for. Soon we'll be starting to switch maybe into more summer type stuff. My consignment store actually said that they are wrapping up taking winter stuff and they would like me to bring in spring and summer anyways. So I assume I should start to get in that mindset too. Actually, that'd be a good question of the day. So let me know below, are you switching over to um, summer and spring type clothes already? Are you giving it maybe a couple more weeks? I think I still throughout January will be grabbing wintery type stuff and focusing more on that. But maybe once we're in February, I will start to do spring and summer. I think that's more, that makes more sense. Because in Minnesota, winter is definitely at least until mid-March. My birthday's March 26th and there can be snow. It sucks. I hope that there's not this year. It's also my golden birthday this year. Anyways, I'm just realizing that I almost get on more tangents and sidetracked when I'm alone versus when it's me and Ryan, which makes no sense because we do all the time, but I just keep doing it too. So I'm driving to the bins. I'm gonna stop at the post office first. Maybe I'll show you guys my little post office drop off. <laughs> it's really exciting. Um, and yeah. Wish me some luck on my solo bins journey. And then I'll show you guys on Thursday what I got and I'll have a haul. So, look forward to that too. Yay. Just pulled into the bins. They're right back there. I got two Ikea bags, two empty ones. So let's go crazy. <laughs> Well, starting off with a good sign, there are plenty of carts in the store, so at least it is not as busy as it was last week. So let's start off with the first row because there is not really anyone here. Now, if these Ralph Lauren pants were not children's, I would absolutely grab them. They are totally giving me Y2K with the boot cut bottoms and the striped colors on the top. They're very cute. Hey, I found 50 cents. That's a good start. I would grab this Banana Republic piece if it wasn't so dang fuzzy and pilly. As you can see, it's in rough shape, but I do love these ruffle elbow details. Hmm, should I be nice and grab stuff for Ryan? I suppose. This is very Depop. I'm bummed because this is just some random brand that I cannot seem to find anything about online, but look at the little parakeet print. It is so cute. Speaking of cute, look at this little Dr. Seuss cat in the hat girl's dress. I really love this sheer detail at the bottom with the kids walking around the bottom of the skirt. Apparently I just missed a really good bag rotation, so my friend Sue at the bins handed me this coach bag to give to Ryan, and also this really nice Michael Kors bag. I don't always do Michael Kors, but this one says made in Italy and it seems very, very nice. 
I guess people didn't grab everything because there was also this leather coach bag that is super cute. I love this cognac color. And I grabbed these two penguin decorations for Debbie. Paula, I think you lost your house keys, and your car keys, and your safety deposit box keys. Okay, at everybody who was at the bins rotation before me, um, I feel like we missed some of the really good bags because I just found this Todd's bag in the shoe bins that nobody grabbed, and it is so nice. And how did everyone miss this 100% authentic Chanel goatskin beautiful luxurious bag? Just kidding. Now besides ties, another thing that people never check is scarves, and I just found this beautiful wool barbore scarf. This would be worth a pretty penny. I dug a little more in the good rotation and found more that people missed, including this little Y2K vintage leather coach bag. These have been doing so good lately. This coach wallet that I may give to Debbie just because it's not in my type of condition. And then this little Henry Bendel wristlet that is such a pretty color. And then a new brand to me, this is called Pieces. It was hard for me to get a picture of the label, but trust me, it says Pieces. The value seems kind of high, but I might just give it to Debbie to try. Okay, well another shoe rotation is coming out. I hope that this one is as good as everyone said the last one was. Let's dig together, shall we? So this rotation had a lot more shoes than bags, where it sounded like the last rotation was very bag heavy. I was trying to kind of grab any bag I could find though, because if the last rotation had really good bags, I feel like there's a good chance that this one does. BCBG Paris. Add that to the list of BCBG brands. I found this single Saludos suede boot that's actually very nice and in really good condition. I'm gonna look it up and see if it's anthro. Hopefully it is. If not, I could probably consign it, so I'm getting it either way. Let's go over what I did score in that shoe rotation. So I found this rag and bone pair of sneakers. They're kind of a patent white leather. They're very smooth and nice. There are a few scuffs on them as with all patent, but overall they're in pretty good condition so I am gonna get it. My friend at the bins, Brie, handed me this bag. It is by ASOS. And I don't always do ASOS, but this is very summery and I'm such a sucker for black and white, so I'm totally gonna grab that and prep for the spring and summer shoppers. I got this Kavu, Kavu, Kavu. I don't know why I said Kavu. Kavu crossbody bag. Every time I've had a Kavu bag, it does really, really well, so I'm going to get that even though it was a little dirty. I think past ones I've had weren't in the best shape either. This is another rag and bone, but this I only found one of. It is a slide leather sandal. I accidentally bought the single shoe. Happens to the best of us. I also found this Myla Poala or something pair of sandals. They said made in Italy, so I gave them a Google. They did not seem like they were worth anything, but I still got them because I'm going to consign them. I found this pair of Bruno Magli loafers, which I noticed while filming this had awful toe wear. I was gonna send them to the real real, but now they're a total, total pass. I also found this fry bag, which I would have loved to get, but it is in bad, bad shape. It has dirtiness, it has discoloration, it has scuffs, scrapes, scratches, it just was not looking good. For Debbie, I grabbed this Kipling because she loves Kipling personally and she does like to sell it as well. She's obsessed with the monkeys. She has so many Kipling monkeys, it is crazy. <laughs> Here is the Saludo, so I did find both. They're really cute, they cross over at the front, kind of like a faux wrap detail almost in a way, but I, like I said, I'm hoping they're anthro, so we will see about that. Then I also grabbed this strange random pair of Made in Italy shoes. I basically grab all shoes made in Italy or Brazil and give them a Google even if I don't know the brand, and that is what I did with these but they ended up being nothing and they were actually in really bad shape anyways, so that's totally, totally fine. Next up, another thing handed to me by Brie. This is a Rothy. It is a white high top Rothy. She couldn't find the match and I actually never ended up being able to find the match either, so I had to throw it back. This is a pair of Joie boots and I actually ended up skipping these. I would have got them to consign if they were in better shape, but they're not in the best shape. And honestly, I cannot sell Joie anything, shoes or clothes to save my life. 
This is a pair of fry boots. These are in bad shape. So I actually skip these as well. I know a lot of people still get fries when they're in bad shape, but these ones, I don't know, I just didn't want to. And also you'll see why, because I got another pair of fry boots. This pair I did get, these were in much better shape. Still definitely had some wear, but I mean, it's a pair of used shoes, so that's not surprising. But these ones are really nice. I like the strappy details and the leather is super nice as Fry usually is. Then I got this pair of boots. They caught my attention because the bottom says made in Brazil. Like I said, I always check them when they say that. And you can't see it in this video, but these are actually Madewell boots. I think I even have the exact same pair listed in my closet right now and they're doing quite well. I found a single Sorrel that I thought was cute. Never found the match. I also found this belt that I could not read the brand on and it ended up being Liz Claiborne later I found out. And then I got a Vineyard Vines camo hat that was really dirty on the inside and I didn't notice until I was sorting at the end. I thought I had found a Lulu bra, but then upon further examination, I realized I think this is one of those tank tops that has kind of the attached bra and someone just cut the tank top off. That's a little odd. Ryan's family loves Trivial Pursuit, so I was very tempted to get this for them, except it was shockingly very heavy, but it's Baby Boomer Edition. I am nearly certain that this is a vintage dress, and look how freaking pretty this fabric is. It's like shells and fruit and polka dots. I love it. Here are a couple things I just grabbed. So I got this Urban Outfitters little cami top that I'm going to get for Ryan. I think that'll do good on Depop and probably Posh. It's very cute and I like the blue kind of silver pearl color. Then I got this Urban Outfitters. I can't tell if it's a robe or a dress, but either way, I think I'm gonna list this one myself. It has very pretty wide sleeves and it has its belt, which is great. And I love the print on it. Then this is a brand I have never grabbed but it is so cute. Old Navy, and look at these patches. I just think that this pair of jeans is so cute and it is actually quite nice denim, so I will be grabbing those. And if they don't sell, I'll just consign them. Then I got a couple things to consign, Loft, J. Crew, the huge. Last up is a new to me brand called Ad, like A-D-D, like in math. This brand I had never heard of, but this label obviously caught my attention. It's like a plastic label and it says it's down. And then I looked at the fabric contents and it said made in Italy with all the different country sizing. And I was like, okay, we gotta give this a Google. Sure enough, okay, Ad, I don't wanna be added to your newsletter, please go away. Sure enough, these are really, really expensive, luxurious down coats, so I am pumped to find that. I absolutely love this jumpsuit. It is by Gap, and it is a denim jumpsuit with a belt. I know Ryan has had one of these by Gap before, and it did very well, so I'm very excited. Okay, y'all, let's get digging. This is not a new rotation. I, like I usually say, I like to kind of sit back at the areas where there are not a bunch of people because it gets a little annoying to have to fight everyone for the new rotations. Plus, as you can tell by our hauls and stuff, I definitely have found good stuff in these search through bins. Also, <laughs> peep Sue over there. Sue, if you're watching, that's you. <laughs> But anyways, let's get back to digging. I was going to grab this skirt just based off of style. It's very like gothic Y2K, but it also ended up being Jessica McClintock, so even better. Thank goodness these are a petite length because if they were not, I would be keeping these for myself. These are the cutest Madewell pants ever. I love this window pane and mini houndstooth. Hmm, in a bin that everybody went through is a Lululemon tote. Life is a beach, especially if you don't check the bottom of the bin. 
Also, I did not know that Lulu has done any other collabs besides Soul Cycle, but here's a lifetime fitness tank. I guess I'll get it. Wow, so many luxurious, authentic pieces in the bins today. Ryan, if you're watching this, I'm going to make you list this on Depop. I love it. It is Wally World, and even on the back, it says Family Vacation 83. Love. If this was my size, it'd be mine, but it's children's. Justice for Pluto. This bin had a bunch of twillies all like tangled together and bunched together, and there's no way they're all from the same person. There's this cat one, there was a newspaper car print one, and then a floral one. Like what? Ugh, these are so cute, even though they're blank NYC, which means they'll probably never sell, but I cannot skip them. They are so adorable. So after a little bit of Google searching, it seems like this is a streetwear brand called Inaka Pop, and they have this like knockoff popsicle design shirt. I think is so cute, so I'm totally getting it. I will also be grabbing this Abercrombie and Fitch fleece hoodie. This I can tell is a newer piece and it's part of the cozy A and F line, and that actually does pretty well for me. So unfortunately, they don't have date tags. I wish they did. These give me the heebie-jeebies. I just cannot understand the whole gnome thing. I'm fairly certain this bag is by that brand of star, like, pimple acne stickers, which is interesting. I didn't know they made bags. This entire time, I've been wondering if I'm going to find a single Athleta piece, and finally I found one, even though it's just a skirt that I'm gonna consign. And everyone skipped this fleece Patagonia. I love the color of it, and I know people probably skipped it because it has a logo embroidered on the sleeve, but honestly, it's still so cute, I'm still gonna grab it and just sell it for less. Alrighty, y'all, let's get sorting. I have a lot of stuff from basically every different category of the bins, so I have a lot of work to do. everybody welcome to the jack valentine podcast once again which of course just means that i forgot to film an outro so i hope you guys enjoyed this thrift with me i know it was a bit shorter than i was kind of hoping but it is quite difficult to get tons and tons of clips when it's all on me and i don't have ryan helping me out and getting some clips also ignore the pug hairs thanks mike Yes, this one was a bit shorter than I wanted it to be, but hopefully that's okay with you guys. I am gonna do a haul on Thursday of all of the stuff that I got. I definitely didn't show you guys everything, and I have so many bags to show you guys, which is crazy because there have not been bags at the bins in forever. I also got a bunch of shoes and stuff. Like, there's a good share of all different kinds of stuff. But let me know if you like this video below and hopefully next time I can make it a bit longer. As I told you last week and on What's Sold Saturday, this week is this video and then the haul on Thursday and then a What's Sold Saturday that I'm gonna force Debbie to be in with me on Saturday. And if any of you guys have been wondering why it seems like we've been having maybe some weirder upload times or we've been a little off on a couple things or we've been saying that we're stressed lately, all will be revealed very, very soon. So we have quite a big announcement to make sometime next week. I want Ryan around to make it with me, so that's why I'm not officially saying anything. But some of you probably know already what the, it is, and some of you definitely probably don't. Either way, we will be officially saying something about it in probably about a week from today when Ryan's back on the channel. So look forward to that if you have no idea what I'm talking about. I know we've been very cryptic over the past month about kind of all kinds of stuff and we've been very stressed and we've been very low on spare time, but we have a very exciting thing to share with you guys. So I will see you guys on Thursday for the haul. I'm very excited to show you what I got and then Saturday with Debbie. So I will make Debbie be in it with me, mark my words. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys on Thursday. Let me know if you like this video and if you want to keep doing them in the future. Goodbye. <laughs>